lesson, we will discuss paper one of the 2020 O-Level English paper. The paper has eight tests. This paper carries 40 marks and every question given carries five marks each. Let's look at test one in your paper. Remember this and every other test or question carries five marks. The first question expects you to match the instructions with the pictures given. You can get an idea of instructions by viewing lesson 10. Read the question carefully as it states that you need to write the letter of the most suitable picture. Let's read the instructions first. Note that the relevant letters are given below each picture. 1. Avoid fast food. 2. Get your temperature checked. 3. Wear a face mask. 4. Use hand sanitizer. 5. Wash your hands. 6. Maintain 2 meter distance. Now let's look at the picture and match it to the instructions given. 1. Avoid fast food. That's A. 2. Get your temperature checked. That's C. 3. Wear a face mask. That's D. 4. Use hand sanitizer. That's F. 5. Wash your hands. B. 6. Maintain 2 meter distance. That's E. That was very straightforward, wasn't it? Now let's look at test 2. Fill in the blanks in the dialogue. Use the words given in the box. You are once again expected to write the letter of the correct word. And the first one is done for you. Let's read out the words from the box. If you have noticed, the words given are in the form of adjectives, adverbs and verbs. When you read the sentence, try to figure out what best suits the sentence. Share Interesting Watch Late Taught Clearly Let's now fill in the blanks. Siobhan Hello, is that Nanduni? Siobhan here, Nanduni. Hello Siobhan, how are you doing? Siobhan, not bad. Did you watch the science lesson in the morning? Nanduni, no I couldn't, I, I woke up a little late. Did you watch it? Siobhan, yeah, it was an interesting lesson on pollution. Nagani, who taught the lesson? Siobhan, Mr. Sivagurunadan. He explained it clearly with many examples. Nagani, I feel bad that I missed it. Siobhan, don't worry. I took down some notes. I will share them with you. Nagani, thanks Siobhan. Siobhan, you are welcome. Let's move on to test three. Study the picture and fill in the blanks using the words given in the box. Remember, you are supposed to write the letter of the correct word. You get five marks for this, so let's get this right. Look at the words given in the box. Books, teacher, standing, glow, front, ladder, Table, neatly, notes, checking, racks. They are all nouns, verbs, adverbs, and you can easily see them in the picture given. Let's now fill in the blanks. Remember to look closely at the picture. The picture shows a library. There are some students and a teacher sitting at the table in the middle. One student is taking down some notes while the others are reading books. The books on the racks are arranged neatly and the assistant librarian is standing on a small ladder selecting some books. The librarian 
at the front table is checking some library cards. There is a globe on her table. I am sure you found that exercise interesting. You had 10 blanks to fill. That means you will be getting half a mark for each answer. So be very careful and read the sentences closely. Let's now move on to the next question. You are expected to underline the most suitable word to fill in each blank. The first one is done for you. Let's do it together. The exercise is based on using the right pronoun and note you are expected to merely underline the correct word. Read the question carefully and identify what is expected of you. Why do people keep cats as pets? You would agree that cats are excellent companions. They are playful, intelligent and loving animals. Cats let their owners know that they are happy by rewarding them with a loud, rumbling purr or a lick on the arm. The cat also has the ability to be alone for several days at a time. All of these make it a lovable animal. Ancient Egyptians appreciated the same things about cats that we do today. They were the first to keep cats as pets. The next lesson will be on the second half of this lesson. Do subscribe to our channel and watch lessons and paper discussions like the one you just saw. Until next time.